welcome to BrewTube. I'm just speaking words and this is Board Deck and Dice. Today I want to talk to you about a few Kickstarter things. First of which is Dale of Merchants 2 has gone live on Kickstarter. I missed out on the first Dale of Merchants and it's one game that I've been keen on checking out especially after the good reviews that it had. You can actually get both Dale of Merchants 1 and Dale of Merchants 2 as a kind of combo pack on that campaign so check it out there'll be a link in the description. Again that I've not really experienced much but uh, it's got a lot of buzz it's Darkest Night 2nd edition that's also out quite a pricey one that but there has been a lot of excitement for that. Also new on Kickstarter is Hollow Grid Monster Battle. Hollow Grid Monster Battle is basically that chess like game from the Star Wars films and it's actually got the creator of the models working alongside people. Now I'm a little bit hesitant on this one, the videos didn't convince me that there'd be an actual game there, but it's certainly very interesting to see augmented reality take a role in games, and it's not the most expensive Kickstarter either. There are still early bird editions available. Lastly on Kickstarter is one to talk about, is the Captain Car Crash game from Mayday Games. Uh, this is a reprint of Dead Man's Draw. Uh, I don't know why they've called it, I guess it's just the Captain Car Crash edition. And there have been some problems with this Mayday Kickstarter. Now, first thing to say, to be fair to Mayday Games, this game came incredibly early. It was delivered well, my copy is fantastic, I'm happy with it, I like the way it plays, I like the new artwork. However, some people wanted um, the original copy reprinting, and on that copy there were some mistakes, some uh, rules missing from the, I believe, the back of the... Uh, guide card. Uh, so there was that and also apparently a stretch goal was hit that has never even been printed. Two extra cards, uh, kind of mini expansion that was never printed due to some miscommunication on Mayday Games' part and that they have said is never going to be printed. Uh, so there has been some uproar about that. So interesting developments there. I've got some news that I am looking to start at one of the local primary schools, a board game at school club, probably called Board at School or Board in School. <laughs> See what I did there. Oh, I'll just pause while you write that one down to use for yourself. Great. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. If you've got any suggestions for games that would be good for 8, 9, 10 year olds, I'd love to hear them. I've got a few, but uh, any that you think would really work well. And, and I'm looking to teach them some lessons, you know, anything that's positive particularly, uh, I'd love to take in. What I've played recently, I had my first play of Mission Red Planet, fantastic game, absolutely love that, not one I own, but that has gone really high on my wish list after playing that, I really enjoyed that despite losing soundly. I've also played the physical version of Splendour, I was familiar with the iPad app, really enjoyed that, I thought my wife had absolutely dominated us. Uh, by just brute force, just buying all the high cards. And then I realised that she wasn't meant to have that many tokens, so I'll remind her of that later. A great party game we've been playing recently is called Wink from Blue Orange Games. I love this game. You basically, there's a card in your hand that may match some on the table, and you're trying to find other people's cards, and they have to signal you by winking at you. A bit more complicated than that, but I'm trying to be short. And, uh, oh, it just brilliant. It says four to eight players, six minimum really, um, but absolutely hilarious. I've also got the Justice League Hero Dice, I've been playing that a lot, trying to get the rules correct, not the greatest rule book, but really enjoying that when I've got it wrong. And I had my first play of Spyfall. Now Spyfall was actually a bit of a disappointment to me. I have played the virtual version on the website, on your phone and that, I uh, played the physical version and we played a few rounds and it, for whatever reason, just didn't click with me. Uh, so I'll look to review that at some point. With the expo coming up, I'm looking at my wish list thinking, is there going to be something there that I want to buy? Uh, the reprint of Panic on Wall Street, really, really tempted by that one. And as I said, Mission Red Planet 2. So that's what's been going on. That's this week's Brew Tube. If you'd like any other features, on the brew tube then let me know and I'll see what I can do. I've just been speaking words and this is board, deck and dice.
knock on this week. One take, baby.